the market has been performing, you know, unsettling, let's just say over the last few weeks. And a lot of people are starting to getting shaken out of their bags. And it's unfortunate because the people who do make it through this time period are actually going to be the ones who make the most gains out of this cycle. Every single cycle, there is a time period where they are literally trying to shake you out of your bags and make you sell and not ride up the most explosive part of the market. We've seen a meme season. We haven't seen an alt season. I think that there's a lot in store for those who have conviction and have, to be honest, the balls to stick through this time period and be able to ride it through. So we're going to go over the alt coins that I think you should be stacking. The way that I'm lining up my portfolio right now, because honestly, like my thesis now is a little bit different than it maybe was a few months ago when altcoins were performing a lot better. So I'm going to go over what I'm doing with my portfolio, some of my top plays. We'll talk a little bit about gaming coins, meme coins, as well as some upcoming airdrops that I think you should not be missing out on. So action pack show. Let's jump right into it. Without further ado, let's get in the game. And as always, guys, drop down, hit that like button and subscribe for more every single day and every week here on In The Game. Shout out to all of our sponsors as well. And we're almost at 97K. We're literally like 30 subscribers away. Hit the subscribe button down below and help us hit that landmark. Uh, and shout out to our sponsors here on In The Game. We have Vulcan Forge, Ultra Dreams Quest, Game Starter, NordVPN. We have Moon Tropica and Real Fever. And then shout out to our exchange partners as well. We have Vibit, Mexi. BitGit, we have Avo, as well as Blowfin, which is a non-KYC, you heard that right, non-KYC centralized exchange. And Avo is a decentralized exchange, so you can still custody all of your crypto if you trade with Avo. You can check out all of our sponsors down below in the description, and let's jump into the market. I mean, a little bit tumultuous times right now in the market, and like I said, it's been unsettling, let's just say. You know, Bitcoin is only at 65K. But I mean, altcoins are just getting absolutely destroyed. We see a lot of gaming and AI tokens down 50 plus percent, even blue chip gaming tokens like Prime, you know, down 43 percent this month and around $10. I think that Prime is an absolute buy at these levels. But right now, you know, I loved this tweet from uh, from Hunter Solaire. I'm going to bring this up. Uh, crypto is being served a reality check across all sectors. Airdrops are being fudded because the farmers, uh, you know, aren't getting a lot of allocation. But now the projects are realizing that it is just temporary people coming through. Like, honestly, when people are farming ZK Sync, they're not there to use the chain, right? They're there to simply get an airdrop and leave. NFTs are bleeding out. Crypto gaming is being overwhelmed by the flood of new tokens and new projects into the space. While we still really haven't had that smash hit app come out of that sector. Meme coins have been turning into a disgusting space recently like I'm, I'm sticking to the really quality stuff but you know like the, the racist stuff the celebrity coins it's been kind of crazy out there so right now crypto is definitely being served a bit of a reality check and um it's a good and a bad thing right we're gonna rinse out a bunch of the players in the market who aren't here for the long haul they're gonna de definitely fomo back in when altcoins start rocketing upwards we haven't seen an alt season really you know just because of the fact that we're seeing memes suck all of the liquidity out of the market so there's no liquidity to degen these gaming tokens these ai tokens because everyone is so focused on sniping meme coins using bull x photon to get in on launch and and basically get rugged nine out of ten times right so all the money is in memes at the moment and and it really does show on the daily like uh, Wolf, we talked about this one on my top meme coin show. It's up 100% over the last 24 hours. Brett up 22% over the last 24 hours. Pepe bouncing. We have Mog bouncing. So most of the stuff here near the top, uh, nice to see Crown bouncing, YAI. Uh, we have playable games up 23%. So it's not just exclusively meme coins right now seeing that surge. But I mean, if we filter by seven days, it becomes more memes. And honestly, there's really not that many coins that are in the green over the seven-day time period. So right now is a great time to accumulate. You guys know my thesis on gaming is pretty simple. I'm betting on some specific games, but more so <clears throat> over the last few weeks, I'm absolutely focused on building my portfolio 
in a vertical manner and not a horizontal manner. So this is not the time period where I'm adding on new projects into my portfolio. It's actually the quite opposite. Right now is the time I'm actually trimming down the garbage or the, the low market cap stuff in my portfolio, and I'm adding on to my top size bags. For example, stuff like Ronin. So Ronin right now, let's go first of all, look at the price of these things. I mean, these things are just getting smashed for no reason, really. And it's unfortunate, you know, Bitcoin's at 65, but altcoins are just getting absolutely hammered. But right now at $2.40 and at an 800 million market cap, I think Ronin's a phenomenal buy at this point in time. And I want some massive size with Ronin because I want to catch that next big move. And instead of, you know, having to count on 100x from a low market cap token, you only need a few x's from this if you go in with quality size and you can get the returns that you're looking for. Layer two chains are now coming to Ronin. This is a big deal for the Ronin chain. They're about to open up for public so like people can come build with Ronin, you know, without Ronin basically having to approve the games, which has been the case so far. You know, there's Axie Pixels, Machines Arena, those types of games, but now we're actually seeing the ZK EVM as well. So they're partnering up here with Polygon using their chain development kit to create their own ZK EVM chains on Ronin. So this is the big update here out of the Ronin ecosystem and uh, and Kagi actually saw here in the uh, like description in the documents that starting a ZK chain requires 250,000 Ron, uh, potentially increasing the demand and the utility for Ron. So that's a pretty big uh, number there at, at the current prices. That's like 600 grand uh, of tokens that you have to buy to be able to build a ZK on Ronin, but I actually think projects are going to do it because the Ronin network has 1.5 million users. It has some of the most liquidity. It has a lot of the best games so far that have come through the crypto gaming space. So I, I think Ronin is definitely one of those top accumulations at this point in time. I think super around 70 cents is uh, is definitely a steal. And on top of that, Altura at the same time, it's like three cents. So these two are partnered up together. Superverse Allies, um, Altura, they're giving a $1 million grant to power the next generation of games. And I mean, I'm, I'm super bullish on uh, everything going on between these two ecosystems, between Super and Altura. So I like both of those. If we were to go down the ladder here, I think Zentry is oversold. Um, you know, this recent rebrand. What, what benefited Beam was the fact that when they rebranded, so let's let's scroll to Beam as well. <clears throat> so Beam around two cents currently, but when they rebranded, let's go look at the, uh, the one year chart here. Right about here, uh, when they rebranded to this token, the market kicked up a lot. Like we headed into that December, uh, November phase where the market was just kicking. And so they caught... The, re like the rebrand giving a fresh face merit circle over to beam. And they also paired that with the fact that the market was ripping at that time period where Zentry, they got pretty unlucky with their timing, right? So they rebranded from Guildfy over to Zentry. And I'm just as bullish on this as I would be on something like beam to be completely honest with you. Uh, but this one has down, you know, 57% since launch because of the fact that the market has just not been favorable. So uh, right now, my favorite stuff that I am stacking more of, I'm not adding new positions. And that's the one thing too, is there's so many coins in gaming now. <clears throat> like, and here's the big problem with that. Like the amount of tokens coming into the market, sucking liquidity, you cannot hold and you will not be able to hold every project that pumps this cycle. But what I can guarantee you is if you have that stack of quality between Prime, IMX, Ronin, Beam, Super, Zentry, like there you're going to catch a lot of pumps from those ecosystems and the games underneath it. You have your Solana, you have your Avalanche bags. I think Avalanche is, is dirt cheap at this point in time at $27. Uh, and then if you're looking into like the ecosystem plays, like I think Notcoin underneath um, underneath Ton Network is looking pretty solid. I think that um, some meme coins are still some pretty good accumulations. If we're going down the ladder here, I'm looking at games like Wilder World. I still think I'm I'm very bullish on Vulcan Forge still. Cedify below two dollars is is about as cheap as we've seen it since October or something. So. 
there's definitely some good accumulations out there at this point in time. And I just want to like re like restate the fact that people who buy these. So if you've been holding these bags, it hurts, right? But if you're looking to get some entries right now, you have a little bit of dry powder on the side. This is the time to scoop some of these things up. I mean, like Citus is getting beat over the head, but nothing's changed in the ecosystem. Um, stuff like Crown, for example, Moon Tropica. If anything, these things are just getting better and, and we're seeing the, the altcoins just get crushed due to the market sentiment. So right now is definitely a good time for accumulation. And also like um, th this is going along with like the airdrop stuff, but finding quality gems that haven't launched yet that you can get in on early. One that I'm eyeing up right now is Super Champs. So this team has a lot of Web2 experience bringing games to market um, and uh, like everything that they've done. If you look through the different descriptions of their ecosystem. Uh, so beyond crafting games ecosystems, we've also spent the past year forging an epic Super Champs animation universe. So if you go through here, there's like the lore, the story. They've gotten over 11 million views on, on their productions. And um, yeah, it, it's pretty sick to see the storytelling aspect of this ecosystem. Right now, they're in preseason for their rewards program. So rewards preseason and quest points. You can start questing at the site here on Super Champs HQ's Twitter. This is definitely one I'm looking forward to as far as the gaming side. And it's something you can maybe start doing and farming that could be positive ROI. This is going to be on base as well. We love base here. And that's actually going to pretty perfectly segue into the next thing that we're going to talk about here. And that is brett on base so uh we've seen brett just outperform the market like crazy and, and and right now if we go to the to the day chart you know brett's up another 20 percent. it's been really impressive to see the strength behind the brett token i've said 50 times on this show that brett is my favorite meme coin this cycle on the last video it was my number one rated meme coin for this cycle as the liquidity that's going to come through the base chain is going to be absolutely like insane once we get to the point where they open up the doors, they push it to their clients, the 50 million users that they have on Coinbase. And we actually see Brett, we saw the teaser, but it's actually being advertised here at the Euros. So we see Brett, one of the main characters of this cycle, which is absolutely awesome to see. Uh, as far as other memes, you know, uh, my, my top ones on the show, uh, my top 10, Brett, uh, Ponky, Redo, which is on Ton and Mog. Like, Simply stated, I think if you just hold those four, you're going to catch crazy upside this cycle. But I did call Billy. Uh, Billy was at like an 18 million market cap when we posted the video. It's now at a 75 million market cap. I think this is probably going to surpass 100 mil. And then Wolf landed at my, I think, number five meme coin uh, on my top 10. This one's going crazy. It is up 118% today alone. Um, I wouldn't be surprised to see this one hit 300 to 500 million over the coming weeks. So, uh, yeah, that's really what I'm looking at. Like, I'm simplifying everything. I'm going to pick a few memes across different chains. We have Brett on base, Ponky on Solana. We have Redo on Ton. We have Mog on ETH. And then, you know, from there, I have my gaming bags. I'm stacking more of the, the same bags currently, and I'm not adding on the fat. Like, right now... It's it's summer, like it's summertime. People are trying to trim the fat so they can have that summer body. I want my portfolio to have that summer body. Like I want to trim the garbage and that's what I've been doing. So uh, I'm stacking quality, I'm adding to good bags and I'm building out my thesis this cycle that I'm gonna bet heavy on infrastructure in a large way. I'm gonna get in early on some of these ecosystems like Super Champs, for example. And then also the meme coin thesis is not gonna go away. So I'm gonna build my bags as far as gaming and AI go, but I'm gonna have some meme plays that when that liquidity rotates around and these main character memes on these different chains catch pumps, we're gonna be in the position to take advantage. And then let's get into a little bit of airdrop alpha. So obviously super champs, that, that's a bit of airdrop alpha there as far as their season for rewards. I think I'll have more updates on that whenever the uh, official season does get started. But we have SoFon farming now open. SoFon, this is going to be huge. They're working side by side with Beam. I really think so. I mean, they sold out their nodes pretty quickly here. Uh, so fun, in my opinion, is a really, really solid play. And I think that this one's definitely worth getting in and farming. So uh, you can actually qualify for the SOF airdrop. 
at farm.sofon.xyz. We have the Blast airdrop one week away. I know we did some videos a while back about the top projects on Blast. If you've been farming that gold or have a lot of points, it is going live um, you know, next week, officially one week from today. So we're going to get that Blast airdrop. Could stimulate the market a little bit if we get a little stimmy, like some free money injected into the ETH ecosystem. So that could be nice. And then um, a good buddy of mine, Trader Cause, I've been telling you guys about Cube Exchange. Cube Exchange um, is pretty under the radar right now, but at the like, I can tell you this right now: talking to these guys, seeing how they move, seeing how they execute, playing with the product, and knowing the what they're doing behind the scenes, this is going to be one of the biggest airdrops in crypto. Whenever this happens, based off the percentage of the supply, based off where they're going to potentially launch at. I think that Cube Exchange is one you have to absolutely get involved and start farming today. You jump into the app, you KYC, you play around. I think volume can help you as well, but uh, you jump in and he posted this article today uh, that kind of simplifies exactly why you want to be early on um, into the Cube ecosystem. And to be honest, it just gives you a reason and it gives all the explanations of why this exchange is potentially offering a better solution than other centralized exchange style platforms. So uh, as we see here, it's like a hybrid of, of a sex and a dex, which is where it's got a really unique feel to it. So I would definitely go farm cube if you haven't already. And then a quick shout out to our sponsors here on In The Game. Um, I'm gonna have some gameplay footage for you guys really soon, probably actually on the next show. But gosh, Moon Tropica is such a good time. Like I see their community all over my pages, all over the timeline. They're the community, C-A-H is the ticker. So they call it the community. But man, I played the game again yesterday. It's my second time jumping in with, uh, with the team there. And it's just so fun. Like there's comedy, there's action, there's just genuine fun. You can play against your friends. You can play with your friends. It's got meme filled content. My character had a Gucci track suit on and I'm getting like, like we're, we're basically turning each other into memes the way that you can uh, kill people. And like, it just, it's insane. It, th this game is one of the most fun I've actually played in web three. So I'm excited for this to officially go live. And I do have some gameplay clips. I'm going to show those on the next show here on in the game. We have 20 plus projects chosen for Vulcan Forge Elysium web three acceleration program. So they are welcoming a lot of new projects into the Vulcan ecosystem, which I think is important because like they have built an in-house suite of games. Now they have rebel cars. They have hidden beyond, which they're doing on their launch pad here on the 25th. Uh, this is a triple A level game here, action, adventure, play and earn. So it's got everything that, you know, the D gens would be looking for. This is going live on the Elysium launch pad on the 25th. And then shout out to Dreams Quest. Um, Dreams Quest, they've been a little quiet on the updates recently, uh, but in group chats with their team, I showed you guys the pre-build of the mobile app, which looks pretty solid. They have the different updates and, and different types of articles coming through, which kind of update on the development. And as you can see here, they're showcasing some new animations for the hero, the heroes, idle animations, and wrapping up with a with an article as well around these types of updates. So shout out to all of our sponsors here on In The Game. And um, as always, guys, like the video, subscribe for more. Look, I'm going through it just like y'all are. We all want the market to surge. But right now, if you have that dry powder on the sideline, this is the time to take advantage of it. And also, the last thing I have to say is I remember when the market was a little more euphoric. I, I, I remember all the comments that come through on this channel. And a lot of people were slandering me, not like in a mean way, but like hustle. Why are you taking some profits when we're not even at the peak euphoria of the cycle? But now people are like, I wish I had more dry powder. And we preach here on this show, when your bags two, three X, take your initials out at minimum at minimum, take some off the table, then you have a free ride from there. And your psychology is healthier, you have liquidity to play around with. If you can't buy the dips right now, it might be because you didn't take some profit when those bags rode up. So there is never a bad time to take profit in this market. If you don't take profit, someone else will, and then you won't be left with the profit, right? So it's just a friendly reminder, like, 
I, I know taking profits whenever things were 30, 40, 50 K when altcoins were going insane seemed a little bit weird, but now like I have a bunch of moon bags in my projects now that are ready for, you know, the, the next run up, but I'm able to then plant more liquidity into them on these dips, which is going to give me an even higher ROI from current prices. So just a reminder that any profit is good profit and uh, don't be left holding the bag at the end of this cycle. Just plan now like form that strategy at this point in time. We're going to guide you through it, the entire ebbs and flows and ups and downs of the market. As always, like and subscribe, and I'll see y'all on the next one. Play well, my friends.